Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Chris Brown. Somebody has asked for a reading for him and his future person will throw them in there as well. See what happens here. I'm just going to throw some cards on here. Um, there's only a couple more days for me to pick the winner for a free video reading sending to you by email for the winner who gets picked here. <clears throat> but if you haven't done it yet and you want to get in on the free reading, you just have to go to my community page, click on that. It gives you all the information you will need. There is a secret phrase that you have to put into a certain video. Those are the comments section there. And I'm going to go into that video, go through the comments, roll a dice, and pick a winner. And I might go from the bottom, the middle, or from the top, depending how I'm feeling, and pick a winner. So if you want to get in on that, and... Um, it is valued at $140, so if you're interested, you can also gift it to someone else if you do not want a reading for yourself. And I just will post that person's name in the community page, and they can get a hold of me via email, which I have on my page as well in the description box. So let's get into this. Oh, it looks like somebody is trying to get better sleep here. Maybe slaying something in their dreams. Maybe they're having nightmares. <laughs> so let's have a look at Chris Brown here and his person. This is the after tarot here, okay. And let's get a sun sign for him. We'll do the astrology pull on this. So what did we get for him? We have security and flexibility. So he may need to be flexible on a couple things here. Let's get two for his person as well. And then the combined energy on the bottom there. Let's look at what we get for tarot. Hmm. May not be single here. Wanting to come forward, looking to aim at somebody here. What do we got? Let's see what your person's got on their side. Not equal give and take, and they may have gone to the other side for refuge here, to calmer waters with a new beginning here, and wondering about Chris, maybe, Brown. So, hmm. He may be in something right now with someone else. He's trying to be flexible. There's security with this person. He wants to come in for somebody possibly here, but he may have somebody in his energy that he's with, I want to say. Let's see. There's somebody else has left this behind them. There was no, it was unrequited love here. Um, no equal give and take here, so somebody left to go on a new beginning here, so his person did. So this may be somebody from his past. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, change. Hello, change is going on. Okay, so this is all going to change. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got three cards here. So we'll give two to each of them and one for the bottom of the deck here. Let's get a moon card. I'll just randomly pick there. And let's see what we got for the bottom of the deck. Be bold and make the first move. So Chris may have to make the first move. And don't let your past hold you back from that. So what else is on the bottom of the deck here? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. So needing to be practical about something here. Let's see. For the bottom of the deck, ah, somebody might be a little icy to him. Maybe have their guard up. This is somebody that's very uh, 
kind of feeling like very intelligent. This is all about change with the Queen of Swords. Wanting things to change. This is about somebody that is very intelligent here, very independent and strong. So may not feel needed by this person. That they can do it all on their own. Let's see. Oh, there is an offer here. Feeling burdened and laying down all of those burdens and just holding his own his own wand in his in, in his hand instead of trying to hold all these burdens for everyone else he may be looking at <clears throat> what his heart truly desires here he needs to work through these fears this is new moon and scorpio so just wanting to carry his own burdens instead of everyone else's along with it here he may have been just too much going on for him to be able to put whatever it was into this person. Let's have a look and see what this person, yeah, definitely left this trying to heal their heart and surrendered to the divine. Wow, so becoming uh, very spiritual on the full moon. This may have happened on the full moon. It could have happened six months ago, six weeks ago. Let's see, how are people seeing Chris Brown and whoever his person is meant to be? This is his future spouse here that we're doing for. So we'll do that one for him. And for his person. And the bottom of the deck there, we'll look at in a second. There's one for him, one for her, or his spouse. Let's see. The morning star, radiance. I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. So definitely has a birthright here, which she is already, I feel like, in it. In his, what he was meant to be in. Um, like... I feel like he was meant to have what he has going on, that talent and becoming a star. This was what was written in the stars here. This was his birthright. So he may have fumbled um, some love offer here. Let's see, we have the page of cups and the page of cups, two pages of cups. Wow. So this is kind of like young at heart. Um, some very creative opportunities, happy news, emotional insight to something, could be pregnancy here, but this fish is coming out of the cup here, maybe fumbling the cup, sloshing around the love there a little. <laughs> so, uh, fumbalaya here on some part. Something got fumbled with this. Maybe just taking too much on and breaking under all the stress, putting all those wands down because he knows it's not good for him that way. All right, the lost star rebirth out of the darkness into the light. So this healing, I feel like definitely has surrendered all of the baggage that they were carrying. They're healing their heart. They've gone to calmer waters and out of the darkness into the light and they're no longer feeling depressed or feeling bad about the situation they're kind of healed that wow there's a decision about marriage here or spirituality could be about how maybe how much they want to get into spirituality here let's get a card on this what is this two of swords here looks like maybe two people fighting over the same person I don't see any competition here though. Oh, <laughs> lovers in reverse. Well, okay. <laughs> this is Gemini energy. This is about breakups, arguments, maybe a power struggle, impulses, maybe a work romance. So, wow. Okay, so this has to do with the breakup here. Maybe they were talking about marriage. Maybe there was a decision here. Maybe they're not getting along very good. That fumbling of the fish there. What was the fumble about? Why was there a fumble of the fish? What was the fumble of the fish? <laughs> From the cup. <laughs> uh, wanting to find 
quite for this though. So whatever it is, he's realizing that uh, he doesn't want to lose this person. Interesting. How are everybody else seeing this? All right, the Empress of the Night, final. After the storm emerges a shiny new star. So this may be a rebirth of things. They may be able to salvage something here. It definitely wants to fight for this. So ah, let's see what's on the, oh, look at that, the sun. Okay, so things could turn around here to a happier note. Let's look at their luck. They're Jupiter a person, and there we go. Let's get a card here, and let's fish one out over here. And we'll see what we get for the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's try that. Ah, six chakra, Archangel Metatron. And the six chakra, that is the third eye opening. So somebody maybe is getting spiritual here. Could be about marriage. But I kind of feel like they may be gifted too. I mean, dang, the third eye. That's pretty darn good. So this is his person's here. Hmm, all tied up because of this King of Pentacles who's coming in. So this is changing once again with the five. Wow. So this person's kind of been nuts about this because not sure they want to have this going on. They can see though, there's that sixth sense, that third eye happening here. So this may be something his person is foreseeing or getting downloads about. Let's see what it is for Chris. Wow, he's becoming the emperor. He's healing best, oh, rest and rejuvenate. He's healing things to become the emperor. Wow, because this is the after card, right? So after doing some healing, taking a break from whatever it was that was such a burden for him with the 10, ending something out here, healing himself and becoming the emperor. Wow. Holy hell. So dang, he's done a lot of work to be able to do that, right? So and coming back in as the king of pentacles to his person who's a little apprehensive about this I'm kind of getting, but being able to see um, with the eye. And I mean, with the third eye, that's intuition. That's a big connection there maybe even psychic abilities. It's like a clear seeing, it's like a clear cognizance. So, or is that clear knowing? Ugh, I forget. <laughs> Anyhow, um, definitely believing in self, believing in their intuition, absolutely. Oop, there we go, so let's break the deck here. The world, yeah, something has to end out here, which it looks like it is with this healing and this change. So, wow, that's number 10. <laughs> okay. And number four it has a lot to do with security or stability. Um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like the manifestations even. And this, he's coming back for this person. Chris is coming back. Let's look at their love. Romantic feelings. Definitely have romantic feelings going down. Let's see here. For Chris and his person. What are we looking at? Religious factors. So maybe he's not so much spiritual or maybe he is more spiritual or maybe he's more religious. There's definitely something that is a factor here when it comes to religion and spirituality. And there's that romantic feelings that definitely wanted to be seen. Worth waiting for, getting a different perspective about things, that hangman here. So I'm kind of feeling this is Neptune, right? This is about awareness, a new perspective, maybe sacrificing a few things, but there is a broken heart, maybe knowing that uh, this person's worth waiting for um, to heal, knowing they broke their heart, maybe getting a different perspective about something here. There's growth here with the number three. 
So he's grown, obviously, to become the emperor. He has to have learned some life lessons. He's coming in as the king of swords, or this could be someone else fighting over. There's a decision again here to make. Now, <laughs> having to make a decision. We did see him come out as the king of pentacles. So who's this king of one or king of swords? Or he could just be very serious about this. And she still has to make a decision about this. She may have to allow the situation to unfold naturally and let go of any control issues or this, she might be coming up as the king of swords who's confronting things. This is about getting some type of truth possibly having some integrity here and very intellectual, very smart, smart, smart. There's some sort of authority over this as well and disciplined. So I kind of feel like wanting some type of truth. He knows he did, you know, seen something differently about having broken her heart. So this could be her coming out on her masculine side. Let's find out. What is this King of Swords? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, well, she's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles here. This is, this person, this King of Swords is bringing in an offer, sees her as the 10th cup, sees her as the Queen of Pentacles. And that energy for the Queen of Pentacles, very nurturing, high, um energy that practical and reliable and resourceful kind of person material success for sure whoa <laughs> so you may have some competition here so what i was feeling here with this two of swords here is there are two people here chris and someone else fighting over the same person now this person really sees this whoever this is, uh, Chris's person, as very high up um, on their list to be a 10 of cups. Wow. Showing up as a 10. <laughs> oh, we'll just get rid of that. Sorry, guys. All right, let's just have a look here. For the palace, which is relationships. For Chris and his person, his future spouse. Let's see. We'll give him those two cards. Let's see what do we have for that one wants to come and that one. All right. And the bottom of the deck. Oh, Chaser. Oh, ha, this. Oh, I just saw Runner and Chaser. I just saw the Runner. Where is it? I just saw it. I, sh I shit you not. This is what I just saw. Runner chaser. Definitely a twin flame. Now, not all twin flames come together either, right? So, hot dang. So, this is definitely a hot, definitely a hot uh, relationship here as a twin flame. Okay. So, someone's did I just do that? I'm going to go this way. There we go. So he is using his intuition. He may be secluded during his healing. Let's see the hammer. Yeah, he may have sabotaged this. Now he's working on it. Um, going over whatever he needed to do to work maybe on his stability and security. This is being flexible and having growth. So, but we saw that, didn't we? Let's see here. Oh, I did it again. I got to do it this way. Ah, this person is worth mastering. I, I feel like they're mastering their wealth here and setting up boundaries, working on their own boundaries, it looks like. Ah, maybe not wanting to deal with this, avoiding some type of conversation with him. Um, a call, still angry, so and not wanting to show their hand, being strategic here. <laughs> and it looks like Chris might be chasing after this person, which goes to stand that maybe he should. There's someone else in her energy or this person's energy, his future spouse, and he doesn't want to lose her. So he's definitely got to do something 
fairly quickly it looks like because <laughs> they're having lots of arguments and stuff over stuff and he's wanting to fight for this he may have fumbled that fish but in that cup and now he might lose her so let's see what do we have that's influencing Chris Brown and his person all right and what's gonna happen on the bottom of the deck let's check that whoa all that glitters isn't gold <laughs> he sees his person as a sweetheart and she may be um single still so this this is good someone else is coming in though and is maybe collecting her harvest because she is the queen of pentacles so she's definitely collecting her fruit everything that she's worked on so hard for is starting to bear that fruit never ending story oh no <laughs> so oh no so this may be a karmic cycle for growth here let's see oh there's a blessing she's quite satisfied there's some unfinished symphony here <laughs> and remember we saw a change let's crack the deck again flexible there's something about being flexible here maybe trying to control things i want to do one more go the distance so <clears throat> Someone here, one of these offers is like fake, all that glitters, okay? There's someone having to be flexible, and it looked like it might have been his person needed to let go of control issues, maybe feeling like it had to go a certain way or have a certain idea of what a relationship is or how it should go, and kind of giving that up uh, to the divine. And then we have going the distance, so this may be... I'm getting this is ascended masters is trying to say if if you're flexible and maybe not wearing a mask or your person's not wearing a mask either or then it will go the distance this is number 11 10 and 7 yeah 7 so wow so seven that's reflecting and assessing nine is attainment and fulfillment and ten is a completion or an end of a cycle or a renewal so wow she's quite satisfied about this new blessing this unfinished symphony here he may be single now and if i remember correctly didn't he come up as unavailable yeah emotionally unavailable here that's how he came up before and flexibility is here as well on his side so they both had to be flex more flexible there was a big change here and I feel like he may realize what she really meant to him he's now single he doesn't want this to end here with this never-ending cycle here and this can go the different distance because there was change and growth here and it is a twin flame so let's look at the fortune here wow this is very interesting for Chris Brown let's see whoa okay <laughs> they want to talk today the cards are really jumping out okay we have spiritual growth and decisions to make all right so okay so maybe he's growing spiritually too oh he's gonna get a victory and maybe have to tell some type of truth to his person this is communicating to get that victory maybe saying his truth and wanting his person to say a truth as well maybe that how they truly feel about each other leaving uh-oh maybe speaking about her leaving or this person leaving oh somebody got karma about oh and wanting that give and take being generous and uh, with her money or their money and i feel like being 
that equal give and take or wanting to give that equal give and take. This is the Six of Pentacles. So this is kind of feeling like I feel like um, giving more than you receive. So maybe they were a taker before and now they're more of a giver. Let's see, one more card for the fortune. Retirement, maybe you're going to retire something here. Maybe retiring the idea of leaving. <laughs> Maybe this person made enough money to retire. Maybe have more time on their plate. So let's see what else. Having some type of courage. What's the courage for? Changing their mind. Okay, so his person's changing their mind about him. Oh, maybe they're going to move in together. They're moving. So let's see what the current north node is for Chris and his person. Let's see what's the north node here going to tell us about Chris. Woo! Official person. Okay, so that could be the police. That could be military. That could be anyone in law enforcement, a judge, a lawyer. Bailiff. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, community. Okay. Something to do with an official person in the community here. What is this? Oh, something to do with the courthouse. Hmm. And a main female. Okay. And we have change once again when it comes to two people. Okay, let's see. Did they get married? Oh, he's we got the emperor and the empress here. He may have dumped out her cup and she may have been the blessing. <laughs> now, this is where we're at. This breakup and there's all this healing and trying to get back together now, it looks like. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he's wa she may be watching him wanting to come forward here. She may have moved away. She changed her mind about something here and moving. Let's crack the deck on this again. Sentimental feelings and emotions. So there's a lot of emotion here and sentimental feelings about Chris. So this could be that um, maybe sh this person moved away to get away. Maybe changed their mind, is watching, wanting to move forward in this. Hmm. What's on her side for her north node, please? For her north node, wow. Okay, we got a bit, what? Uh, so there may have had, like I said, that expectation of what a relationship is about maybe trying to control the situation um and that 10 there which is an ending with the uh completion or an ending of a cycle here and being in despair with that five that was a big change for them and, and heartbreaking here but <laughs> they definitely got a great fortune out of this now whether they got divorced and got a settlement but wanting to change their mind about things here. What is going on here? This is the combined energy on the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, he's thinking about her or she's thinking about him. Number seven, it's thoughts, reflecting, assessing things, gaining knowledge, being in that spiritual sense for it. Wow, okay. Okay, let's, I want to know about this court. What's the court about? Why is the court uh, house here? Why is the court house here? Hmm. Maybe it has to do with someone else here, a king of wands, maybe a friend. Okay. Thought maybe it might have something to do with her, but maybe not. 
maybe uh, about a marriage with someone else or maybe just being support for someone else going through something at a courthouse let's see it might be to do with something with music or whatever he does for a living so let's have a look oh Claire's sentience definitely feels has that feeling so Archangel Ragul Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they are, um, as they signify the divine guidance. So he may be an empath or have that clairsentience. Yeah, he, wow, he's working on that blessing. He's trying to get that blessing back and spirit is going to give him one here. Maybe to uh, get with this person. Who changed their mind let's see what she's doing ah she wants some truth and sees him as her tenth cup or he has to speak a truth and she is the blessing here sees her as the tenth cup here what's well, a gift from God Wow the angels are bringing gifts from your Creator open your arms to receive and she definitely definitely got that with the great fortune after everything she went through clear your space okay get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui and that is a way of life so let's see you are safe so definitely are being protected and against any lower energies and guarding them and their loved ones and their home so He's going to work on that blessing to try to get her back. There's something maybe that they're meant to do together. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, there was that marriage card here or spirituality. And that's right, slaying that. So I'm going to just shuffle these and see what we get. That King of Swords is still there. Hmm. In the background okay what's on the bottom of the deck now yeah they're gonna celebrate so this king of swords is in the background though watching all this so let's do another card for this with the marriage card there ah, waiting for marriage maybe I lost the hierophant in the deck ah, yeah there was some walking away from things, waiting for certain things. So I may have walked away from him. I'm waiting for him to come back around because he does. He's working on whatever it is for his blessing. So, and it looks like she's the Ten of Cups and she's got her own, her own thing going on here with her great fortune that she received. She's waiting for him to come back with some type of truth here she is the ten of cups so that's how he sees her so they are definitely um working their way back to one another here that runner chaser and sometimes that goes back and forth for several years even um before they actually come together but let's have a look and see how close they are coming together here when is the perfect moment for these two to come together seven determining the circumstances seven days seven weeks so they okay let's look at this first seven is fruition to manifestations and having that patience and she could be waiting right now for him to come back around she's gotten her great for fortune already or she's walked away and she's at this point here not wanting to take him back because he was showing up as not available maybe emotionally unavailable so yeah determining what maybe she wants out of this relationship they're arguing quite a bit too so let's see it will work out soon three days three weeks and seven days seven weeks so between three days and seven weeks the number three is that channel cosmic powers and create and they both had gifts from God and clairsentience 
gifts from spirit. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Taurus. 2104-2005. Create a structure. So this is a foundation, this balance. This is what they're needing to create between the two of them. Once they figure it out. <laughs> they are emperor and empress here coming out. So Taurus says create structure, leisurely committed, well worth the effort. There's fruit here. So and there's fruit here as well. So and then the number two is balance, alignment and progress. So they will definitely come together Taurus may be in one of their signs or sun sign, moon or rising. So, and we are in Mercury retrograde. So, and it affects Gemini, um, I believe, right now. Might be, is it just Gemini? Might be, might just be Gemini right now. So, in any case, uh, maybe Taurus, I can. Uh, uh, no, I think it's more Gemini now. So anyways, um, that is what I have for Chris Brown. So three to seven weeks from now, things are going to get better for him. Things are, they're going to be working on things. It could be anywhere on this timeline, mind you, but three to seven weeks, maybe they'll get back together and talk things through or see eye to eye on something here. So he's definitely thinking about her. I shouldn't say her, his person. He's thinking about his person. So maybe there's no gender in this, right? So and it's always showing up as an energy. And we all have that masculine and feminine side within all of us. So it Whatever comes out in us is going to show up in the cards for our energy. So anyhow, please like, share, and subscribe. Think about becoming part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. <laughs> and if you'd like to donate, you can donate in the PayPal account down below in the description box. Just click on that link. It'll take you right up to PayPal. And if you want to do the super thanks, there's that as well. Um, I'm working on going live. I just have to get some things, last minute things going here. And hopefully within the next few days, I'm having some issues, <laughs> but it is coming. I swear it is coming. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I do want to say thank you to all of you. Even if you aren't donating, just watching the videos certainly helps the channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.